What's up YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If this video is helpful or you like it, please hit the thumbs up. And welcome back to my channel, you regulars. In today's video we're talking about the Super Console X Pro. I've been seeing a lot of it online. I did some reviews on it, a couple of videos on it. It seemed pretty cool. I watched this guy on TikTok. So I went to Amazon, which I usually don't shop, but I had to give it a try. I only bought it from Amazon is because you can return it if you don't like it without a hassle. So all right, we're gonna unbox this bad boy. Let's see what we got. How we just dump it out? AV plug, remote control, the adapter for four units, this is the console itself, AV, Ethernet, HDMI, DC power. HMI cord. Hey Bella. <laughs> What's in here? Instructions. Can't read. Hope they got photos. Some barcodes, QS codes. Hmm. This is what I like. This is what made me buy it. But the, the PS4 controllers, like, wow, they are light. That don't sound too healthy. Well, they both sound like that, so there's probably something in there. All right, well, I figured out what that rattle noise is. It's the wireless adapter. That plugs it probably into the machine. The USB, oh yeah, it says USB right there. Or no, hang on. Yeah, it goes in here. So this adapter goes in there and then you can put, plug those in there if you have four players. And uh, what's kind of cool about this art, when I was doing the reviews on it, watching a video on it, it uh, you can buy the Super Nintendo controllers too that uh, plug and play with this unit which you all know Super Nintendo had really cool controllers but these should be interesting now it says this thing's got like 50,000 games on it and it says some of the games won't work with the the remote uh, wireless remotes so they do have corded ones so I'm just gonna see how this goes first before I get all crazy all right I just plugged it in the wall. Here's my little mini uh, Nintendo. That got thousands of games or hundreds of games on it. And then I got the Super Nintendo that just got the regular games that are. This is unmodded. This is modded. I don't even know what this is. Just comes with all them games, but there it powers on. That's what it looks like. That's the controls right there for the controller and then it's got I think that's a reset button on top or something no I don't know what that is yet well we'll figure it out as we go all right takes triple A's let's see if you get this in there right so it's a nice little trick with all these little mini units that I got they all run off HDMI so that way I can just uh Unplug one and plug in, use the uh, same HDI for all of them. So I'm on, uh, oh, there it is. So I'm on input two on my te television, so. Get you some of that, folks.
All right, let's fire this up. You're not gonna be able to see this. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let me just stand up here for me. I'm so far away from my television. So I have game settings. Well, the remotes, you know, the remote's really super light. But it looks, look at PS4 controller. China controller. <laughs> uh, so let's quit. Hit A to select. Oh, there it goes. So you hit side. Commodore. Oh, that's a classic. Atari, Atari. A lot of Atari, huh? Wow. There's Nintendo. Should we do Nintendo? Sega. That's my, that's my jam right there. Let's give that a click. So hit A. Oh yeah, 1979, the year I was born too. That's crazy. So I don't even know what I, I hit something on there. So let's just go down and try it. Baseball, woo! This is in television. I'm just doing this to, let's see. In television, it says, 890 games right there for Sega Genesis. But I don't know, hang on, let's we'll see here. There's loading. So these are the controllers on here. A, B, X, and Y. So it's kind of like Nintendo up there. In the Now I don't know if I like that side action. It tells you what kind of console you're on, but I don't know. Let's see. Well, it's working anyways. It's a good day to play video games today because of uh, the snow. This is what we're looking at today here, February 22nd, 2022. Two, 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 twos. Day. <laughs> Get you some of that, folks. Crazy out there. This thing does got an SD uh, slot too. I haven't really read up on that yet, but I suppose you can go online with it and stuff. So, but yeah, I played a little bit of hockey. I'm still learning the controllers. It's kind of different. Once you grab, once the problem is once you grab this controller, you think you're playing PS4, but you're really not. So <laughs> you can imagine. But well, I'm gonna play with it for a while, and then. Uh, I'll get back to you guys here shortly and see how it pans out. I'm gonna try different uh, consoles on here. All right, I played Mario Kart on Super Nintendo, which I'm a real familiar with, I played a lot of. And uh, a little different, you can play with the joystick or the D-pad. I, I did the first uh, track with the uh, joystick. It's very strange, but it, I got first still, but um, the graphics ain't bad. Uh, what's the nicest too is uh, if you hit start and select. I just learned this on my own. I didn't even read the instructions. But uh, you can restart the whole system without having to get up and hit the reset button. Hey Coop. This is one of the reasons why I wanted this unit is because they don't have, you can't play PS1 games anymore on much uh, many systems. Well, who remembers this game? Oh yeah, Resident Evil 2, one of the dopest games of all times. 
Here's another fun one. Who remembers uh, the old original Tony Hawk Pro Skater Woodland? That game was, boy, Rail Grind City. The only game I don't see on the PlayStation version is uh, I look for some to uh, Tiger Woods '99, that golf game. Unfortunately, I don't see it in the roll decks here. They're alphabetically, so that's kind of neat. And all you have to do is, if you want to switch the... Oh, here's PS2, I think. Or PS Portable. I don't, I don't think it has PS2, it has PS Portable. But if you just want to change the units, just hit side to side on the D-pad. And you can uh, change the consoles. <laughs> Something that I never heard of. Jesus. Must be overseas. Oh. That's a shout out to my brother, Shiny Ray J. D -d 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 -ch. <laughs> the 10 yard fight. 1985. Get you some of that, brother. For all you Nintendo 64 fans. I never really got into this, but a lot of people have. A lot of games. I think it tells you how many games there are too at the beginning. I've seen it at one point, but you know you have to do some uh, adventuring on your own to, to learn the platform, I guess. But. Well, all right. Well, that's concluded my video on my review preview of my uh, it's, uh, Super Console X Pro. They have different uh, memories on them. I don't even know which one I got, but oh, I'll show you right now, I guess. Let's see. I'm not sure how big my hard drive is. I'll have to do some reading on it, but that's what it includes. You know it. So, well, all in all, so far, I think it's around a hundred dollars. Depends on the memory, the hard drive you want to get. So, but yeah, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave down below. And thanks for watching my video. Until next time, peace.